Hey, so today we're going to talk about the states of matter. Yeah, states of matter, everything in this world is vehicle states. We know that because it's like uh, uh, it has, you are able to touch it, you are able to feel it, you are able to um, go all over the place with it. Yes, now uh, the states of matter, what is matter? Well, matter is anything that occupies space and has a mass. Yes, no. So, uh, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So, what kind of states of matter that we, what kind of matter are there? Well, there are basically three types of matter. Matter is the, the, the condition of these matter are what we call states. The first state of matter is solid. The second state of matter is liquid. And the third state of matter is gas. Well, actually, there is the fourth state of matter called plasma, like the plasma in a TV. But we are not really concerned about that here. So, what is a solid? Well, a solid is something that has a fixed volume, it, like this. It does not move around. You can fit on it like softly, of course, not very hard, and it will not. Uh, uh, it will always maintain this shape. It don't change. Okay. Also, uh, solid have a high density. Yeah, it has a high density because uh, it's. The particles in there are very closely packed, so it, it has more particles per space, per volume. Okay? And also, uh, a solid is a fixed shape. It, it looks like this, it will always look like this, until you really, really hit it very hard, until it doesn't look like this anymore. And also, a solid does not flow. You can put it here and, and nothing happens. It just stay there. Now, what about liquid? Well, liquid also have a fixed volume. Like one liter of water will always have one liter of water. Uh, unless it, it, ch it changes state, oh? or you, you drink it. Uh, it but it's always there. Also, uh, liquid can have a high density or low density, medium to high density, depending on how it is. Right? Uh, Again, because the particles in the liquid, uh, they, they are like very close together, and, but they flow around and they cross each other and they flow past each other, you know, like fluid dancing. Also, liquid, uh, the shape of the liquid, it really depends on the container. So if you put the liquid in the bottle, it looks like the bottle, the shape of the liquid looks like the bottle. If you put the liquid in the glass, the shape of the liquid looks like a glass. If you put the liquid on the floor, then the liquid just like spread out, you know, and like no particular shape, just spread out. And so what we know about liquid is that it generally, uh, if you can pour it, like you can pour gasoline, like in the petrol in the car, so it like flow, flow in the car. Also, liquid, you can like, uh, uh, drink like water is a liquid, you can drink it, you can like move around the little water and it will like flow. Yeah, so that is liquid. And finally we got the gas. The gas is a, uh, the volume is really depends. Like if you have a big container, the volume of the gas is like the size of the container. If it's a small container, then the, si uh, the volume of that gas is like the size of that container. So really, gas, the volume really depends on the size of the container. Also, gases, the particles are everywhere. They're moving here, they're moving there, some moving very quickly, some moving more slowly. But they're everywhere, moving left, right, up, down, like a Nintendo shortcut key. Yeah? Hmm. Anyway, so what that means is that uh, the gas, you can like press it down. You can like press it down. You can like squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze it all together? Yes. Okay. Also, the, the, the gas is like uh, no particular shape because again, it feels the shape of the container. So in big container, the shape of the container is if you put gas in the, in the bottle, it looks like the bottle. You put glass 
in the gas in the glass while the gas will flow away. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's true also that gas flow. Like if you like drive really drive a motorcycle really fast, boom boom like a Barantino Rossi, you know, like the motorcycle very fast, you will cut through air and then the air will like go like this and like that all over your body or if you drive a very fast car then the, the air will go around the car in the shape of the car so if your car is like this the air will go up like this boom like flow very nicely that's why like people like study like aerodynamics so okay now we know that got, uh, battle got like three studs let us uh, talk about how uh, these states uh, change from uh, solid liquid to gas. I'm sure you already know this. So uh, the relationship of the states of matter depends on the energy that it contains in that uh, substance or matter. So if the matter have lots of energy inside it, it's going to be like a gas. If the matter have very little energy in it, it's going to be like a solid. Okay. So how the Solid become liquid. Solid become me liquid when you introduce energy. Okay? You introduce energy and the solid will melt. Okay? And then when you heat, you introduce more energy to the liquid, like in heat, it is going to vaporize. Or if it's a water, you say it will evaporize. Okay? So there is a difference between vaporize and evaporize. Evaporize is meant for water. Vaporize is not for water. It could be any other liquid. Okay. So, what if you would like to change the gas to the solid? What you gotta do? Well, you can, depending or to, from gas to liquid. If you want to uh, make the gas to liquid, you got to condense, right? You condense. That means you remove the energy from the gas, and then the liquid will condense. Or if you put the gas in a very cold room, it will also condense to liquid. Okay? When it condenses to liquid and you want to remove more energy, it will freeze. Alright? It will freeze to become solid if it's water. If it's not the water, then we say it's solidified. Okay? So when a liquid becomes a solid, and when you remove energy, it will solidify if it's not a water. If it's a water, we say it freeze. But sometimes when we know uh, there are a part of matter out there that do not go through the liquid first. Okay? Do not go through the liquid state. It straight away jump from the solid state to the gas state. And that is a process we call sublimination. Okay? Sublimination. Okay, the process of converting from solid to gas is called sublimination, like dry ice. It's a carbon dioxide, ice, carbon dioxide solid, and when it uh, leave it out in the open, it will boom, turn to gas. Ooh, sublimination. And sometimes we can also reverse the process of turning gas straight to solid, and this process is called Deposition. Deposition. It's like uh, you putting your money in the bank and deposit. Okay? So, um, that is it.